we wanted to have a chance to talk. Um, yep, we were uh, together, and as uh, everybody knows, we can request to open the contracts at a given point, and if all parties agree, we can do with it. Um, Ron put it in there basically uh, as just four wages, which is what we're going to. Um, the the contract when we went through was good, fair. I think it was, um, uh, you know, uh, reasonable bargaining on everybody's behalf, and it was a good thing. But since then, you know, it was quite a thing. Stuff's at the fan. Well, then it's uh, the cost of living adjustments and the increases have been crazy. Gas, um, just groceries. I think some some groceries in the record are going up twenty percent. Um, the last three months, I think the cost of living adjustments have been over nine percent on the end. Um, the cost of living adjustments that we gave to I know, just Morrisville. Highway was uh, five point nine, which was the last, the last, the, the second quarter, the three months in the last second quarter of twenty twenty one, which transitions into the fiscal year uh, now. And plus, they had a uh, um, their costs COL plus three uh, percent, so I think we're right around like now nine. Percent increase, which was uh, close, I guess. Basically, what we're, we're requesting and asking of you if uh, there could be a 7% cost of living adjustment in addition to the 3% um, uh, raise, bring uh, it to a 10% total for this contract year. Um, and I guess we're looking at the way things are going, the contracts we're working on now are coming up this fall. Uh, High Park is getting close to kind of balancing out the uh, wages. If it only stays at the 3% and the increases in the surrounding municipalities and the rest state go up to what we're, we're uh, expecting, we have to be down. Would be under we'll probably fit into some close to twenty percent lower wages for wages coming into the guys and for retention and I, I just don't I'm not throwing any blame or threatening anything I just don't think it's a good place to be the lowest one in the area you know because that's like ground found out some places that become the training ground and and people just keep getting one of the amazing examples. Is, um, there's a gentleman that just operates down with us, the secret center, and from down in Johnson, it's here to make more than Mark Frank. You know, the, the deal is some of those entry level guys that come in with, you know, the, the guys that have been four or five years for the company that really think he's up to one of those. Uh, Where's that? Uh, oh, down to the yeah. And as we know, we'll both of the guys are going to bump them up because everybody's going to transition up five, and I think they're 26, and Wells has got 26, and I don't know what one, and there's no one to go over that point now. And the benefits are all I just, you know, those are just numbers that we'll put out there. The reasons why it's not threats or anything, it's just the fact that it's the market. And as we know, everybody's struggling. You know, and uh, hopefully there's, there's money out there with these incentive grants and pension grants and things. So that if the town can get it, you know, you're getting things to put well computer to pay Paul, and, you know, that so it doesn't handle the budgets so much. I think that's happening. Um, and I'm getting hard with uh, you know. The, Power, but they call me to open the contract uh, three months ago. And they threw a break to 7% on top of a 3% increase. Uh, so they wanted to 
detention. Um, that was their highway, did you say? No, that was the village. Oh, the uh, highway, were, highway were opening yep. the holes on the track for this other one. I had meetings earlier to the relatively new town manager in the program under the So, it's nice. So, that's why we reached out to Ron and uh, requested this meeting. And, um, you know, that's where we get going. And, you know, it's not trying to make fortunes, it's trying to keep up. <laughs> uh, it's partly true about the retention grants, uh, the money has been used to keep people. Um, generally, it was last year and trying to get people to, um, with the money that's uh, afforded to the town, some of the ARPA money is available for employee retention. Uh, the budget, as the budget, that we all know, is from the union contract. So, unless there's some money to be moved within the budget, we have to figure out what that amount was and what doesn't get done. That's another way to look at it. Uh, too late for the tax rate, that was set. So, we can't do that. Um, October's budget season, so no matter what changes you make, we'll have a kind of double impact if you make any for this request because you have the last year's budget, which was late. So, this budget had to deal with the last contract plus whatever you do. Now, so it's like a double hit if you were on salaries for hiring with 24. Oh, okay. Because 23 is a little bit light already. Uh, so, lots of interesting, you can't not hear it in the news, you know, all markets kind of thing from shopkeepers to uh, even CPA offices are losing people where they're not accepting new accounts because they don't have any account to accept new customers. So it's all, it's not just, not, not your market, it's not like your market, but what do you do in response to that? It's really, it's really more about retainage, I think, uh, and having the budget process deal with the cost of living over, the, over time. Like, the town has a contract, and that's part of the reason for a contract. You lock people into that deal for that term. Then you make an adjustment at the end of that, or in the fourth year. Not that was a one so this was, group. this was the, Third year coming up, so third, uh, third year we do the adjustments. Four year contract, three years. Four years the wage open, right? Four, 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 four year contract, year. three years wage open. Yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. years wage open. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we went, we had a five four, and I think we settled four three. Um, four five, wage open. Five, five three three. And then wage open. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just forgot the first year. Yeah. First year was five percent, and then there's two threes, and then there's a wage opener anyway, which happens probably next yeah. summer. <laughs> the next summer we start twenty four fiscal year. Yeah, so we have to deal with that anyway. I think you said leveling. That's another select board challenge with anything. You say, oh, these wages are going to be spiking, and we're we're going slower. So how do you level out that? How do you level that out? Do you give Half of what they're asking, and then 100% later, or do you do it all now? Leveling, if I'm hearing you right, is making all the changes now and then getting back to hopefully cost of living down the road. So you move up with everybody. I don't see wages going down as quickly as they've gone up, though. I don't think that happens. I hope it doesn't. I don't want it to happen to me. <laughs> you know, that's what you get. You're more than likely, you lose positions. Right. Which is the wages coming down. I yes. think that's, that's the adjustment. Positions cut more than wages coming down. Well, that's in economics anyway. You won't see unemployment today. You'll see employment rates go up in six months. Exactly. As businesses figure out they can't afford those wages, they just try to retain everybody on it. Exactly. So it's, a, it's not easy. I think the, the idea for tonight was to get that on the table. And I think everybody's got to do some thinking about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you've, got, you've got a job to do. Also, um, yeah, because we've, we've gone through 
more still the we've got the police zero percent they went up some of them eighteen percent in the front um uh Burlington uh, went thirteen on the front percent and uh fire department went to so it's uh it's it's out there it's happening I mean it's, it's a lot of contracts getting yeah, open, and it's it's uh it's a lot of money it is for retention you know a lot of it and it's uh, it's rough once you get way behind the eight ball and you know, so like i said you guys go no one tells the people you go through the country that needs to know for the numbers so, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. we yeah, we definitely have to use what you said and try to figure out what that means to the budget and operations and yeah. so is this an increase starting effective July going back to July one or no. oh, going we forward? Would, oh, I don't think if it happens forward. in the point now we wouldn't we would go out there. Not we're requesting retro, that. Retro, got it. I think it's, that's got why it. we're trying to get in between but, Sure. Got it. Uh, this is a that's do you have a request by date? Request. It would be in the short board, but you see when you meet again. Okay. Yeah, there you good, go. But yeah, it's sooner than, you know. But that goes to the retention. <laughs> right. It would be nice in a month or so. Right. It'd be nice to not drive it out. Right. Let's be real here. Let's put, let's set a date. Because yeah, otherwise yeah. we're gonna drag it out and that's not happening. Yeah, I mean it, it would be just a request because we can't use that demand to right. uh, well, it'd know. be nice for August. <laughs> that's August that is it thirty or thirty one in August. Thirty one. Uh, thirty one. There you go, I'm not yeah. out there. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's the three. No, this month. ninth and twenty third, right? Okay. Second, yeah, yeah, second, second and fourth, right? Okay. And just thirty uh, first. Well, we were just throwing a date out there, yeah. like to have a decision made by. Yeah, that would give us a chance to review things. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Then we'll have our two August meetings. Mm -hmm. If we have more questions, we'll yeah, that's. Uh, it's, you know, that's one thing that we just three, three guys right here is kind of like pretty easy to figure out. Right. Yeah, there's conversations, they're open, the moment, there's communication. Right. 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 Thank you, John. Thank you guys for your time. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. You good? Good enough? I think we're going to do it out soon, huh? Yep, we just canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for all your work in general, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Who did they cancel that? Susan. Susan. If I needed to use a town loader to unload the rest of stuff, so that I can take a special request on that stuff over here. So that comes out from that part too. Uh, I think the highway tries to work it out if they can, and if they can't, then they'll say no. And then <laughs> there's one pallet that needs to be unloaded. Yeah. Charlie Davis being here? Or do you need to put the head in there? Oh, uh, Charlie Davis. He's a neighbor. Farmer. Farmer North. Yeah, yeah. he's black. It weighs 2,000 pounds. The pallet. No, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Would a bucket do it or we need four? We need four. Need four. Yeah, our, our forks won't be up there. They're going to be pushing gravel up on Cooper Hill. So we could be up there. I don't know if that's what it's going to be. Anyway, I bet Terry Harrison can do it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the highways yeah, can yeah, cycle their I'll work. Start. They might, yeah. 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 But Anybody else local? I just didn't want to be in the position now asking something that I shouldn't be asking. No, I think you can do that as Mark objects and send you to the board. Yep. 
Yeah, don't break. If you can make it work, you can make it work. You are the town, so that's good. Good to ask that. So, don't have only one add to the agenda. The um, I want, set. I want to discuss that thing for any hearing. The uh, the town. What they're proposing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could do that. We're in open session right now, or you can wait till the end of the yeah. other one. You just have to tell the TV to shut off. Too. Yeah. We'll wait. Yeah. Yeah, just one agenda item. The town assessors are uh, cleaning up their grant list. The contractors, NEMREC, had a couple missed addresses and name changes. There's a whole list of them on that paper. That will at least get the tax bills to the right people instead of having the wrong people get them and have to send them to the right people, which is normally what happens. But at least they're caught with no changes to the grant list. It's just an address. So we had that as a I'm not expecting anybody for public comment. Okay, okay um, so accept the VTRAN structure grant award of $28,800. Structure design only. Yes, so back in 2013 or 14, the Loyal County Conservation District did a study of Hyde Park, Morristown, and I think looking for AOPs, AOP culverts, which are aquatic organism passage pipes, basically, where they identified where the fish are. And the biologist came over and he electrocuted the water and the fish floated up and that required a substantial redesign of what we call a 10 Ben's beer culvert on East Main Street. So the design costs for that uh, were, were initially re rejected by VTRANS, so uh, 9010 um grant so 80 percent for the state 20 percent for the town and it will design that aop the crossing you can see from the picture i include in the packet that we have the collapsing walls and things it's not going to take too much to take that out the outlet washed out once or twice already started to be back on the road in the driveway that goes to msi's building so it's just it's a matter of time before something would happen there it's not a bad culvert but there's rust going down the bottom of it and stuff that happens after 50 years. So the motion tonight is just what I tried to do is bring back the grant award so you guys know something moving forward and then authorize me to sign necessary paperwork and we'll contract. come back one more time for a contract with the watershed consultant who's already done the preliminary stuff and now they need to get to the final design which is a big, big package basically and some permits it's wetland area Make an Army Corps permit until well. So the grant is for design purposes only. So when we do get to construction phase, who, where does the money come from? That's another grant. We'll have to apply for. But we would apply for that before. We yeah. So, oh yeah. So in order to apply for the next grant, we always submit the design work to show people how much money we need and so on and so forth. So they'll. The bid package is really just ready to go, mm -hmm. and then we'll have to fine tune it before it actually goes out. But it makes it easier for the grant people to award money if you have it ready to go. <laughs> because that's one thing they want to see is right. construction happen and not be a design that yeah. sits on the shelf. So, it's the culvert right at the intersection just before you get the intersection in? Yeah. 500 feet before Route 15. How come we didn't do that when we blacked out there? When we blacked out that in the long term. Oh, because we don't, we still don't have money for the culvert. It'll be probably three, four hundred thousand dollar culvert. Three things are going now. <clears throat> We're probably going to. No, you're designed ten percent, so if that's representing the design fee. Yeah, three, four hundred. Can I get yeah. that one? So we're dealing with ten percent instead of six percent inflation. Though. The um, grade elevation we're going to look at too between that culvert and Route 15. I don't know if you, could, if you go down there, you'll see what I mean. The water comes off the hill and it sits. All it sits the water in the road. comes from the state. 
but it's, we're going to try to crown it, separate it, and get the water to go where it goes. But we'll probably have to lift the rower 18 inches or something to do that. So it's kind of a two part project. Does that culvert go? It kind of goes, it doesn't really go across the road, does it? I feel like that culvert goes. It's, it's on the guy across. It must be way, because it comes out below the building, right? Below? No, no, it's, no? Right, it's right by the road. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they have a they have a pipe that takes water from the one of Chevy, which is another problem. Yeah. Okay. And it feeds into the outlet of the other one, which creates an erosion to the washing machine there. So we've got multiple washouts and a sinkhole and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you gotta look at, it's not it's not a culvert project necessarily. It's like a five hundred foot road project with a culvert. Yeah. We don't quite go. We have ice there. We have water running off the 10 bends driveway. They did a little bit of work. Well, they we they fixed one of them, but the other one's still collecting water. We were down there and looked at that with earth jacket. Yeah. yeah. They fixed it one. They fixed yeah. one side, but they didn't fix the other loop. You get on there now if the rain to see a big puddle at the bottom, which you do. But anyway, so that's that's what's going on. Where, yeah. where does that so say it's an 80 20? There's thirty thousand dollars, so what? Uh, because they are just twenty percent of that. So what are we looking at? Six thousand bucks. Six thousand bucks. Where does that six thousand bucks come from? Just one of the big. Oh, we have we have sort of three different pots of money, if you will. There's a design line for infrastructure engineering, which is about six thousand dollars in the town budget. There's small road projects, which is thirty five thousand, I think, in highway, which we use for all these miscellaneous grant matches. And then we actually have a stormwater reserve, but sometimes that doesn't have a lot of money until we actually put more money, maybe ARPA money in there. Um, because some of these grant matches for stormwater, I mean, it's, it used to be highway in my, in my computer, we had highway, garage, culvert purchases, RFPs, stormwater. And over the last five or six years, stormwater has come out to be its own department really it's almost as big with projects as high yeah. to be and we don't have enough money to do some of the stuff like oh it's going to be coming up because it'd be a 20 percent match that's still 30 to 80 thousand right exactly yeah. so yeah that, that's part of that uh, bid package you'll see the funding sources too <laughs> And we have money in the budget, correct? For now, we do, for the engineering we do, okay. construction, right. we'd have to. But we have money enough to cover that six grand. So the vote tonight to move forward. We, we have you already, already have the money approved, I expect, to make the match. Okay. Yeah. So when Mark comes to you and says, I got another small project idea that we have to kind of manage it with all the other little small, I call small anything like under 20 grand or something, but any of those other little small projects we have to manage with grant matches and Mark's ledge removal project or He's actually catching up pretty good. We got a good report, or not good report, a um, good offer today from regional planning who's going to come and help us update our in road inventory. It hasn't been updated since 2011. Since 2011, Mark's been keeping notes on all the road segments he's upgraded. And we've only reported a fraction of that to the state. So they think that we're behind on compliance oh. because we have a map in the office that's red for deficient and green for good and yellow for needs firms removed, whatever. So regional planning is going to come in this fall and take all of Mark's information, give them an iPad with a digital update system. So when they make a repair, it goes right into the state system. Oh, nice. So next year we'll be up to date with you know, real time, I guess, reporting. But we have to get that updated by December 31st as part of our MRG permit. So the MRG permit says your inventory has to be updated by this December and that's a, we got money for to do that too. So we'll be in good shape by the end of the year. I think this you know, the state is looking to get all towns in Vermont to take 10% of their red roads off the list. And I think it's five years since they did the permit. I think it will be yeah, about 10%, which is great. Right now it doesn't look good. We have enough data. Yeah, exactly. But Mark has all in paper and scratch paper and pencils, and I have it in grant documents, and we, we have to. We should all together so a lot more regional planning can make the updates and be good. We just need to make a motion. Yeah. Accept and um, authorize me to process paperwork. It's kind of the normal. So moved. 
No. Okay. So, uh, I'll second it then, I guess. If we have the money, it's something we have to do, right? right? Trust me, I'll talk when I, when I ask you. I will. Um, okay, all in favor, signify by saying yes. Aye. Any opposed? Shane? I put four zero. Oh, I wasn't watching. <laughs> Good raise hands. Yeah. I need to put a number. Is it four zero or three zero? I, I, I think myself, before you go ahead and do all that, I think the state ought to be involved in that. So I think they are part of the That's match. That's where the grant's going to. Yeah. Yeah, the state's, the state's paying 80%. Right. But, what, but what I meant by the 500. All, all the water is coming off the no, state. I, what I'm saying by that 500 feet, that's a more of a road project that will definitely, it will require VTrans to be involved with that. I know they're going to wash their hands of it, but we'll try, yeah, to, that's right. but we'll try to engage them during this design work that's coming up. And then we can have Watershed Consulting come to you on a preliminary design, and then you can raise that because question. Because there's a brook that comes right in through the goddamn field across the road. I know, it's a 120 foot long culvert that they're ignoring. We told them it needed to be replaced. They said, we inspected it, it's good, and they walked away. So at some point, it's gonna, just like that one right it's going to happen to that same bridge project. They're going to wait till it gets to fail, and then they're going to rip it. But we can't incorporate it into this project. So it's kind of like that fine line of making sure our road is good and that what exactly. we do doesn't interfere with their project. And that's what the well, design works. That's, that's what's going to happen. We're going to spend the money to do that one down there, and then they're going to do that one up there, and then everything's going to change, and then that one down there is going to have to be refigured again. <laughs> That is, well, no, don't forget, not, you, not, not if you do this don't, design work for the whole water chain. Don't forget, you're in a design process yeah. where you can have that conversation with your design engineer to make sure that. Well, it better be. I'm just saying, but there's a time for that. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a time for that concern because that's what they're supposed to be doing is anticipating those things. So that design is something that when you move hydraulics, it's not calibrated off the culvert, but it's calibrated off the water chain. So, yeah, the watershed comes all off the state. Right. Yeah. It should be that should be documented should be when they do that. Right. No, we can no, it's a good point. We we can ask them. I just know that they have they I think the water's coming right from the rolling driver all the way down to there. Probably down. <laughs> <laughs> right the <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. I've seen it happen. Oh, I believe where you do one yes. thing and then later on they do another thing and then that one isn't right down there, so The engineers we made aware of that and put it right in the minutes. Perfect. This one over here, I looked at this one, Pete and Joe and I, when Pete was on the board. We looked at this one over here, it must have been five years ago. We had them right over here looking at that culvert, and there's no bottom in it. Huh? No, they did the outlet, not my time. They did the outlet only. They did some rock in the outlet. <laughs> They're good with that. The next thing is to set the model of city and town service agreement for municipal finance assistance. Uh, we had talked about this, well, at least we've actually done it before. We hired a CPA to work with Allison. We had um, Glenna early on work until she started doing audits to help Ken when she was treasurer. And this is another resource for Jennifer to use when she has those more difficult questions or when she's preparing for the audit, which she started to do. Um, and she's trying to get herself way up to speed on all this stuff. And the LCT's finance manager team, which is, I think just Sarah Macy right now, who used to work for Essex, um, is ready to help. Time and materials, time for the mileage, most kind of just regular contractor piece. As, as, as a need, on needed, as well, a needed basis. Yeah, so it's going to be a ramping up because some right. financial, municipal financial is slightly different than what Jennifer's used to. So she's learning all those differences, but Sarah will accelerate that and get her to a spot where she's used less. Okay. 
but it's one of those spiky things. Sure. And then, yeah. and then she can always be a resource too. Right. And there's some minimal free resource that the LCT provides anyway, but yeah. not, not this kind of stuff. Right. They always charge a fee once you ask for that a little bit more. Cool. So this will be, um, and you know, I, I think there's questions that Kim could probably get an answer to. So it's not going to be limited to Jennifer, but Jennifer okay. will be the point of contact under the grant contract. And we can use ARPA funds for, for some of that, potentially? Well, so we are administering ARPA itself. Right? For That's how we'll have to reimburse it. Gotcha. The auto share. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Got the it, reporting got requirements. Got it. Uh, the the sub-recipient agreement. Yeah, we're going to it. Yeah. But got fire it. district number one. Got it. All that stuff is eligible. Oh, uh, I see. So, if, yeah, if you wanted to do a proportionate um, share of what we want the talent audit, we could probably get a number of what share our phone costs. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of, there must be a lot of paperwork for all that. Um, I think we set it up the right way. Okay. So uh, the most work so far has been the sub recipient agreement because it's a legal document. Mm -hmm. The financing piece will come later and they reduce the reporting requirements to annual. It wasn't going to be quarterly, but they reduce it to annual. So every April we have to report to the U.S. Treasury. So that helped a lot. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so we need a motion for uh, municipal finance assistance from not legal services. Uh, I would move to accept that or make a motion to accept that. Excuse me. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Okay. And proposal to pave uh, apron at Beth Bailey's home. Um, the lowest one we've got so far is 1560 to do it, and that's with Clayton. And so, uh, um, but that's only two bids. I don't know if we want to go and try to find another third one. I'll tell you what, you ain't going to get it no cheaper than that. <laughs> I still struggle with this one. I, I, I mean, there was a ramp there, Matt. But it don't matter. We could go all the way back to Menashe. We could go all the way back to the village, but there's nobody going to fix it for them. I, I understand that, but all the center over here for days, right? So if you haven't paid anything there, it's not that it will. I mean, well, everything was put back to the, the way it was. I mean, if it was dirt, it was dirt, right? I mean, if they used to stay back, they used to stay back. I, I, got, I had a question regarding whether or not the minimum had to bring that back in. Who did that? Because it was the value of that. I didn't come and say, hey, go well, look at my door here. I just expect that I have some maintenance with my own driveway. And I'm like, if you have your driveway, you have some maintenance. They said they were willing to pay some of it. Can we go back and ask her to pay a portion? I'm not. Right. You don't want to do that here. I'm not. I'm not. I think 1500 is reasonable enough. I don't do it. Based on the principle of all I'm if you get a bunch of drivers around town and have this, you can't afford to get $1,500 out of your driveway. So well, that's sort of a reason it's for it. Maybe you have to have to screw something up. Is that your opinion? It wasn't the well, town's there, job. There, there, was, there was a ramp there. In the... In, in, uh, in, uh, Construction somewhere here, somewhere is where the ramp didn't get back there. Who followed us? The village in Menage. Is that whose project it was? They took out the ramp for the water line project. The town agreed to repave roads, and nobody identified this as an extra charge. Uh, so we as a town repaved the road. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry for responsibility. Okay. Yeah, why don't we just take it out of what we own for water? 
Yeah. <laughs> you want to put that into a motion? Yep. I'll do it in a heartbeat. I'll make a motion to do the fifteen hundred for Slayton and fifteen sixty for Beth Bailey Sawyer. Oh, that's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I wish we could have come to the. Or been there at the point when it did. Uh, when it was. Someone was there to supervise the, the thing so that uh, this we wouldn't have been in this position in the first place. And I'd like to do it so it doesn't set a precedent either for the future. That's what I'd like to make sure. Yeah, that's well, you already I broke the, you already yeah. broke the president when you did up in Garfield fix when he came in with a bill and the town paid for it. Chuckins come in with a bill and he fixed it. Mark and then screwed it up. So he brought a bill in, fixed it. And it was over. Yeah, I mean it, it's they paid it. Are there any other? That was a slightly different board, but yeah, the town did do it for that one. We haven't done it for a lot, though, not since I've been here. Is there any other aprons on that thing? I mean, is the neighbor going to come? And the next neighbor? And the next neighbor? I mean, what? Why don't nobody you? wants to. Who, who, who hasn't come? seen the Eden Street? Like, if you want to like, just drive slow, you can see the differences of people that are above Everybody the road. Everybody on the left hand side going down. People are below the road. Right. So it's everyone on the left hand side going to come and live in Bernie. We owe everyone a lot of I just That was going to be my question. I think there's about two this? other ones that probably could use an apron. So when I drove down this morning, I'm like, those are steeper than Beth's. So and Beth, why aren't they? They said it? that they're willing to give some. Uh, can we pull Beth back in and just have a conversation? Is it not worth it? I don't know. I, I, I'm new to this game. I'm learning. I just want to talk out loud and I want to be transparent. I want to be honest. Well, there's ways to, there's ways to take this current situation because they did give us to the end of the construction season if you remember them yeah, yeah they did right. say that just before plowing i think or something yeah rick had said that yeah um you could take this to write some stuff down so that when highway goes out here's how the aprons are dealt with we don't have that policy yet we don't have that procedure yet but it, it's a lot of times it's on the fly too so having somebody on site that brian was suggesting mm -hmm. It may cost you two or three thousand dollars for two to a week of somebody to watch something. But, but you could only for who paid for it. There you go. So that's the that's <coughs> what we don't we don't have the benefit of that now. I, two or three years ago I had a proposal. Where did the money for up to pay that road come from? Your paving line. You have two hundred and forty thousand dollars a year for paving. Is there money in that line right now? Brand new year. It's all there for you now. Well, I guess we take it out of that line. Is that, was, is that how we would have to go forward? And it would go back to that project? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, um, no, this is an odd duck. I, the driveways and, the, and how you deal with driveways are totally a case by case thing because if you went over there now, it would be in compliance with state rules about how you're supposed to take, deal with aprons. Under state rules, you can change the approach by over to three feet and it's on the landowner. That's kind of the situation you were on Center Road, right? We don't have to go past that little two, three foot apron that we always do. But the politics of it gets weird when you go in, uh, when you go eight eight inches or something because you're not at the maximum where you're mandated to change it. You can't make it worse, so they can't use it. That was kind of two high thresholds. But you get into Beth Bailey situation of the two driveways below, and somebody was like this. Now they're like this. It's more difficult to get in and out, but it's not illegal. We didn't do anything illegal. It's just we get into politics of something that can go to a meeting, get your attention, and say, I'm going to pay for it. If you don't, I'm going to bill you, and you know, all those kind of things that you know, Judkins used to run Garfield Road. Well, that's, that's the, they're going to another. So only the, only the people that spend time to come here get their $1,500 bill that they quote. Or give us a stipend for that, say, we agree to a rate and say, okay. Here's X amount of money, and here's what we got for numbers, and, and they can hire because I feel like if we hire them and they don't like it, that's right, it's still now, on us. It's, it's, now, we're, now we're paying more money again. Well, it's a liability for long term if that sheds water a different way. Right. right. Believe me, Beth will be there when it's being done. No, but she won't predict the change of water right. that goes into her dooryard funny, and now she wants that fixed too. Correct. Right. 
So there, there's a, a good argument for stopping at the right away. There's no doubt. I, I, I trust that woman. I think yeah. she's a great woman. I just right. don't, I don't want to set the precedence for the next and the next and the next and the next. Uh, in my opinion. Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had a problem if we milled down three inches and put three inches back. You don't really need anybody for that supervision, so to speak. You do need somebody to remind them not to put four inches or five inches down, which sometimes maybe contractors will do. We'll add a couple more inches to get more billing on the top for you. But anyway, so it's it's almost worth writing some of this stuff down before you make a decision because the process of writing it down and looking at it for how you're going to treat the next person and the next person is way better to read and use the current situation to evaluate it. Even if you come up with a, you're asking us to go 12 feet outside the travel lane, the right away stops at you know, seven feet. So that five feet percentage is you. We're going to stop at the right away. We'll pay seven, 12, or whatever. It doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. that. Yeah. But at least if something goes awry, it's more than a four inch change of elevation. I don't know what this thing would be to trigger it, but. Way easier to do during the right. project right. than that. now. It's like oh, two here. or three times more expensive to do it now than it would have been during the paving project. Yeah. It right. been 400 bucks for it. Yeah. So it's just better to have this done and, and resolved and buttoned and stamped and proved by the board is what's going to happen. And then you want to bet through it, and that's the answer there. Otherwise, you're going to be case by case with the next person trying to get the board to go look at something. Like that. <laughs> you know, that's. Really gonna burn a lot of time. It, it could burn a lot of time, which is really what the board's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Okay. Make some policy is what the board should do. Right. right. Staff will implement it. And people will understand it that have been impacted. Right. Or they can appeal the policy terms to that community. Exactly. Right. So there is an avenue. Mm -hmm. I mean policy. In all honesty, I can look at the grand team and say you can figure a federal fifteen hundred bucks. With everything, all the everything else is going to get approval, but I, I don't, I just don't want to set 1500 and then 1500 and times 50. That's what it comes down to. So, like Ron said, we wait till the next three neighbors come and say, Wait, I saw a bet, got a new neighbor last week. When do I get mine? But we can take time. That's the other thing. It's not an emergency. We can look at something in writing next meeting and just say, Hey, this is simple. It's three or four lines. It's not that big of a deal, but at least you know what you're going to decide on that next person. I like that. <laughs> well, the, the, the other, I see Roland's, you know, hesitant because it's almost like just put out the fire and be done. But I'm more into what happens when the next person comes. So It works both ways. We can, we can treat her with. So, it. so what do you going want me to send you a bill that costs me to fix my door here? Right. So that's what I don't want to get into. Right. I, I just did it. I just I just ordered it. I just fixed my door yard. I just, I just fixed and that's why I'm saying I right. just put two loads of sand on my door yard and I didn't come to the town and say, hey, I need my 496 bucks for my two loads, you know, because I know that I have a responsibility. Then after I paid the goddamn thing, I get a call that the one I when are you gonna pay it? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Park all their equipment on my on my lawn. And they were supposed to fix my lawn. Do you suppose that happened? I don't know. I just think no. I love her. Fix it and yeah. it's it's like, it over with. There's motion on the floor. So either reject it or that's it. Well, I think we should put something mm -hmm. in writing for the going down the line for the next process. Policy. It doesn't have to be difficult. That's what I'm just saying. Dave, well, you're not looking at a 10 page thing. thing. Oh, no. We're going to have to reclaim it, do whatever you've got to do in the village to cut that down. But on Bitch Hill, they could have took care of that problem very easy. They could have took some of that blacktop out of there, which didn't get done, and brought everything back down to the grade that it was before. But when you've got a flag top, unless you chew it all up and take it out, you can reclaim it, you can bowl mag it, you can do whatever you want to do with it, but you're going to have to do that in the village. You just can't keep putting black top on top of black top in the village. No, you're I mean, you're the grade. Yeah. And, and it would have been very easy 
on Fit Chill because we left that when we ground that we left that there for the winter. We left that there for the winter because you know we didn't want it to be all mud in the spring of the year. And then they just smoothed it up when they graded it. Should have took all that stuff out of there and brought it back down to your benchmarks. And then that way all the doorways up to there would have been the same. But down through Eaton Street, all they did is add black pop, as you know. We sort of we sort of got it right on Prospect Street. Rolling. On Prospect Street. We knew that there's a lot of driveways in there. We knew we were doing stormwater. Yeah. And we knew that we had to get down. Right. And not come up too high. Right. But there was engineers involved with that. The contractor was really an expert contractor. The, the guy that did the final pave was really handy with his tools. He knew exactly how to get. Because he went by benchmarks. All that stuff. And a lot of the paving projects we're doing, we don't go that we don't do any preliminary planning. It's like what road segment? <laughs> right. Because that turned out great. But there was a lot of time and effort spent on it too, which it's which is little worth little it in the end. Though. I think that's the difference that we're seeing. Exactly. Uh, I'll tell you what. Here's where I'm at, and I'll throw it out. If, if we're at fault, then we need to fix it. I'm sure. But it, it, I would I would go that it has come off the top of our cultural pavement because it's not like we have money in the budget to throw away. And that's a hard one, Matt, because we need all your money. That you've got for blacktop. I mean, 1500, we got, we got miscellaneous things you can take 1500 out of, but you, you start cutting that blacktop another thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, you go out there and look at our blacktop. I, I know that it might be four or five thousand if we get yeah. three or four more. That's what I'm saying. I, I did, we, did, we just had a I meeting that talked about budgets and everything else. In here before now. What, uh, There's what, two door yards what upon Fifth Chill. What I'm saying is maybe when they see the paver in there, from, when they look out the front window and see a paver, that, that, that's really interesting. You know? So, what do we need to do? Can we push it a week or push it out a week? Yeah. I can definitely come back with a short. I want to go and see this myself. Yeah, you should walk. You should do Eden. Look at every driveway on Eden Street. It's a short drive. And if you want a brief policy, like, have well, an age type thing. I, I, I looked at it, believe me. I believe no, I'm, I'm told, yeah. The combination of those will help in the next meeting. Just something in writing, plus making sure you walk or ride the Eden Street. Did you send a motion on the floor and let you know that? Well, there's no second. No, no, there's no second, in, yeah. Not without a second if you know he says it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put it off until the next meeting? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have policy hopefully. August 9th meeting. meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next item kind of goes with this one too. So if you're going to hire some person, we'll have to hire the same person. What? The next item on the list. The apron here. Now, yeah, I, I'd mentioned to, to Ron when this came out that uh, uh, the state's going to do some of it. And this is in addition to what the state is going to put down there? Yeah, I called the state project manager and said, can I see how far that apron is on your contract document? Sure. I'll repeat. <laughs> that isn't even what they've uh, uh, scarfaced down there anyway. So they'd have to cover up what they've, what they've dug out, wouldn't they? Yeah, there's a, there's a fine line. They've added gravel on top of uh, pavement. So I don't know how they're going to know that. It should go at least five or six feet. Yeah, I was watching it through, seeing what they did at school and stuff like that. Yeah, so they, where there was a big cut, they were throwing gravel in just to make it look smoother. So I don't know how much pavement's actually left under there, but we have a frosty between the culvert and the travel lane that comes up every year. And it's getting, it's getting worse. It's four or five inches anyway. Culvert looked good. We had that big heavy rain a few days ago, and that culvert, all the grass is pushed over. So I know that's working because we have a schedule at the moment, maybe. No, I asked him. I said, I asked him two things. When are you going to be back for aprons? And two, does your contract allow owners to negotiate with a contractor to do ads? And they have this one. <laughs> I don't know if that means no or we don't want to. The talk state to won't get involved in that, but if you call Hutchins, they will. Right, so they're right. And it will be the case. Yeah. yeah. Can you order that? Let's go that out. Yeah. 
Well, we have to prep it first. That's the other piece. The market. Our, our guys are prepping it all, right? Uh, that was Ryan's suggestion, Ryan Nolan. He goes, why don't we just go and take the excavator and prep all that stuff back to where we want it, which is just getting past the culvert so we can start the parking lot paving at some point. There's a two inch layer that's needed there someday. And then we'll let it sit, and when they come through, they'll do the whole thing. I think Ryan's right. But then they'll tell me they don't have time don't for any more projects because they're already behind. I'm telling you, I got a lot of this. I said, Mark, you know, you could you could probably do that pretty quick, but you know how a project like that goes, you're digging down, you know what you're gonna find. You may find a culvert that's not quite right. You know, you could be there all day and that's a whole day out of his limited schedule. Like a guy's coming on vacation in August, so he's trying to do Cooper Hill before then. Then you take it for a day or maybe a day and a half for a driveway you know. So that's why initially we were bidding this as one project. So we already took a week out of him for the sewer. So when, he, when he goes back to his summer schedule, he says, we didn't get anything done this year. You guys kept sending me other directions. So, and, and, and well, bought right. an excavator Isn't it, to that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> we bought an excavator, we should use the thing. It's up there, it's working now. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we hire an excavator to do work on our freaking old property, that well, is insane. That is good. Is, no, it's on Cooper. Do it, do it. It's on Cooper now. Well, I know, but. Jesse, what the problem is? Yeah. You've only got four guys up there. you got Mark that's tied up with. With everything he deals with, I thought and then we you got one, person. and you got one, that go? one on vacation all the time in the summer. I don't know. So you're you're down to two people. This so is where the, this have... is where the extra person is going to come in something. I <laughs> I agree with the extra person all along. Really. I've been trying to do this for seven years now, and it ain't happened. I know. No, I get it. I just know we're already getting complaints about our lovely excavator not working correctly. So if we have a non person on our own property <laughs> we're gonna get that complaint rolling you know you're gonna get called <laughs> we'll get sand up if it's one thing at a time i think that we i think we let them pay at least then we can get real quotes too at least at least let the state finish, finish their work and, and we, we might, might get lucky and they, they might do it they might do it or they might charge us just a little bit they won't. Well, you know, we asked you never know we asked hutchins for a quote to do that extra. So yeah. that's already pending with EJ. Yeah. You remind me after the leave about that. All right. So we're going to push this back. I'm, we're, I'm, I'm going to make a motion. Well, I don't think we needed to do anything. On no, it, this is just a quote that we got. So it's just yeah. letting you know that it's a project. If you, want to, if you don't want to do the project, let me know. We can stop working on it. But. It was just one of those things that the town office people have mentioned for like three, four years. Well, ago. it seems like the time to do it. I, I think, think so. That's when we're already paving. So we're already going to so. We're going to wait until the state does. Yeah. yeah. It's good because it's what I already had written down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Glen Valley Hall parcel. Um, get Matt Reed to do that, or is it somebody else? Yeah, Matt has done. Some of the preliminary with this is quote unquote. Matt's done some preliminary research and got some deeds. I sent him a whole file of the neighborhood deeds for his records so he didn't have to do as much research. And he said he could do up a site plan showing how how much we've infringed on the hotel property with our fire escape at the Giant Valley Hall. And I was like, well, we can just leave that. And then Guy in Valley Hall says they might want to put a second one up the backside. That's what I mentioned to me. Yeah. Coming back to the north side again, so we have two, potentially, if that property line is a trip line, we've got two structures on there. We, we just can keep. Unless they combine them together and had just one they exit right there. Yeah, I don't around to, yeah. Because they needed it for the upstairs, right? Yeah. yeah so this is, the first, have this is the first floor. So, yeah. so, so this will get the structures, oh, corners, foundations, it'll get the walkway, it'll get the um, river bank, it'll get. All the things that are there. There was some survey, old survey done up near the post office, but they didn't come south. Yeah. So I'm going to start there and kind of fill in the hotel property and like I have to call all property. And then you will fill in that grant. And this is what they need for the home. Um, this, no, is plan this is planning. Yeah, they, they, I think this is just their money that they <coughs> another that they have in them. Yeah, another round is going to have the discussion of fire escape. That's yeah. 
you can't get there without knowing the property is there. Right. <coughs> this is coming out of their budget and money, right? <coughs> this is more like uh, ARPA money, probably. Okay, we need a motion. <coughs> yes. so, I yeah. will make a motion to approve not the work for the survey work needed at the twenty five hundred. For the twenty five hundred. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Abstaining? Okay. The Royal County Planning Commission town <coughs> representative due to the town population now over 2,500. So we need somebody else. Yes. Uh, Greg Paws has served for <coughs> many years. <coughs> I think he's on his last term. Usually, take a front porch forum posting out. Anybody interested, get back to us by August 9th. Apparently, there's two people interested. Really? Nice. Really? <coughs> Richard Pearson um, is on the tack now. Right. He, saying, wanted to go, he wanted to go up, but Greg was locking him. Yeah. Didn't want to push. we talk to him on a yeah. meeting one night? Yeah. yeah. He, to, but he yeah. said he'd, get, he'd do another tack if. The director was good, like Greg to be employed. Yeah. Hmm. And then um, the other one was um, Valerie Valcor, who's oh, from Val. Nice. You know, Department of Health. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. She was at, and was, you know, we're talking to her at that social up there to the, uh, the, you know, the guy in the Valley Hall. Oh, yeah. There, you know. So we may have interviews more than nice. one live, and then maybe up there. <laughs> Nice, we actually have people. I know, I was going to say, yeah. two good ones, and we actually have people that are interested, so that's great. Yeah. So I just want to update you on that new happening that we grew enough since the last census to qualify for a second rep with Stowe and Morrison. Good. Yeah. I think Johnson just blew up because their village is bigger and you don't come. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for that. And uh, we can invite both of them, like you said, to well, ask for later if first. we need to. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Very good. Okay. And the town works. Uh, we've passed them out, and some have been signed. Have they all been signed? I yeah. might. I think the one I haven't signed. Right. There was a couple that I had to pre signature on them. Okay. There's one missing a tab. You got to pick one. Oh, okay. Can I make a note? Can we ask Jennifer to make sure she starts coming in hour? Do what? The hour column in there? Oh, like on the report. Like just, just a kind of have it. Like obviously the, the fire department money must be in there. Mm -hmm. But like when you look at like Ryan, for example, his his wage looks huge. So it'd be nice to Oh took out the hours so you can divide out what happens every year. Yeah. yeah. His wage looked weird. It's like double. Yeah. He came to my house. He's like, figure out my pay stuff. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused, but I figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> It's all in there. It all came out in the watch. Oh, like, I, I guess I don't need more to look at, but it would be nice to just see the hours. Yeah. For yeah. That, you know, if yeah. we're posting those. It's good. Are you talking about hours on fire or hours on what? I think with Ryan. Depends on what report. I think it was Ryan's check because he, was, he made two different wages that week. And I think you had to do something funny with his paycheck. I yeah, don't think so it had anything to do with fire. The one that I think the one that you're thinking of. Well, what? Where, you're looking at a payroll report that's here? Yeah, would like the warrant. So, you know, like when you get the payroll. I, don't, I want to see what the report is because we have reports that have very detailed reports. Oh, they're, they're probably in the back. It's I a different to report. Keep that. I gotta keep oh, looking. yeah, right here. I gotta look deeper. That's what I didn't do. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's right here. Yeah. 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 yeah, so if you just flip. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're right. You told me that last time. I should have remembered that. It's okay. No, I just want to make sure we're on the same. Because I, I was looking at his. 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 Where is that? What job is that? We don't have anybody that's been that way. Well, Ryan got a raise. That means asking for more. <laughs> you can only say no. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So that's not. Can have a spreadsheet okay. for the next meeting we vote on. We look at what they were going to do. So. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's part of the budget evaluation of what it means. A three seven out of ten. Okay, I think that's it. Yep. Oh, the, 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 the notes to okay. calculate I I that. Okay. But I just wanted to make sure because there were so many. <laughs> well, I actually looked, but I don't think she had that on there when I was. Oh, okay. So, you know. so there you go. But I think I did make a mistake in signing one, and then that's the reason probably you promoted the, the sticky note. Sign the red. Well, that's good. There's one that's not padded there. Yeah. Oh, I signed that one. Okay, that's good. Okay, we need a motion to yes. accept the uh, warrant. Uh, I make a motion to accept the warrant. You did a great job in here. Well, dear, signify by saying aye. 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 opposed, abstain. Okay, that's your question. Um, let's see. In the minutes for 7.12 and 7.15. I just want to say, I ran my first meeting because someone didn't show up. <laughs> I did pretty good. But it was a quick and easy one, so I didn't have to do much. That's right. <laughs> what are you talking about? You had to call me in. That's true. I had to, that's true. I had to call Max. It's a funny thing about having employment, you know? I know. Yeah. If you're on a transport and you're just supposed to like, stop, stop, stop. Exactly. I got to pull over here. That's right. That's I one part you don't do in a transport is <laughs> yeah. pull over. She's texting me wrong, texting me. I'm like, I am hitting every button right. It is not letting me in. It so I had to add a, I called him on my phone to add him to the meeting. It was a shit show. Shit but show. I took care of it. You, you handled it. I that's did. what the, the bottom line. The bottom line. So, you, handled, I, you handled the shit show. I did. I yeah. did. So, um, so I make a motion to approve the minute. Good job, Ron. Yep. All in favor, say goodbye by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Good. Where were you for that meeting? You better stay out of it. He was at the um, EMV. So you've got the same thing you can do. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Update on town assessor. We got any more movement on that? We we do. We had, um, I guess, a plan of action, so to speak, timeline, preferred timeline. Um, Regional Planning Commission uh, is meeting tonight, actually. The executive board met last time. The regional Commission is everybody getting all updates with the idea. Uh, we sending out probably tomorrow a letter to towns, so all the Memorial County towns from me and Duncan mm -hmm. from Johnson will basically say, "Are you interested in this new thing, new, new potential?" Uh -huh. I don't know if it's called regional municipal assessor or regional assessor. We haven't really figured that out, but it's at least a municipal assessor that's shared by a group of towns. Once that's done, when we have that final list, that group will meet probably in late August. Then the Loyal County Board meets again in September, and that's where they're going to hopefully have some kind of vote. We'll do the job description, and then we have an ad, and we have a letter. And then we have sort of protocol on how the person is supposed to move between the towns. Mm -hmm. Probably a monthly meeting at the beginning of the a couple of member towns mm -hmm. to basically supervise and guide and adjust if needed. And hopefully the person comes on and can, has that skill of managing count, multiple towns. So that isn't always the easiest thing to do. Four hours here, eight hours here, and they have different schedules and be able to get there on time. So one of the requirements is to make the meetings because if they stop you know missing a select board meeting or missing a meeting with right. a resident or not getting their office hours met all the whole thing kind of all the parts mm -hmm. that's very that's kind of one of those critical things other than training which you know the state will provide training but the pay is still due to the person mm -hmm. So if the Regional Planning Commission agrees, they'll basically just be a payroll processing group where their hours will be accounted for, Regional Planning will build the member towns. 
So if you say, I need four hours, then there's going to be a rate for that, just like you would with a contractor. And LCPC will bill and basically be reimbursed by the time. The sticking point we've had so far is on the retirement. So VMERS, which is the state retirement, doesn't recognize a person as eligible if they're on a short term contract. So, which means a year or less. I was just going to ask what short term to find. Yeah, it's a year or less, less contract. You bump it up to 13 months and you're all set. There you go. Yeah, regional planning is limited to the service agreements under their bylaws to no more than 12 months. Oh, of course. So I think we're going to have to, and Tasha at regional planning is working on that this week. We have oh, a meeting good. tomorrow at yeah. 2 o'clock to try to iron that one out. There may be a way to call the person that employee of the commission and work for the towns under the service agreement as long as they're an employee of the commission and not some conglomerate that they, I don't know. She's, of course, this is a new thing, right? There's, it's no, all there's no slot there's, for it. Right. There's no Make it other, up Google. Yeah. Yeah. The Northwest Regional Planning Commission does it for a zoning administrator, but they don't get retirement benefits um, because they haven't pushed the one year. So we're pushing back a little bit on yeah. the neighbors to see if they can see how they would accept it. Yeah. I think this one or the other community will yeah, adopt it. I you agree. Know, and we'll see it because of the lack of the people to employ us. Yeah, Kim had an interesting comment today, which was something along the lines of it either didn't, it was a risk or it didn't feel right to her for the regional perspective of the, having it a regional person it's less town person kind of feeling i think she was saying. Uh, so i think the towns will treat that person as a town assessor for their town absolutely. they're going to own those four hours or six hours right she was seeing a, a growth potentially to this regional concept so maybe she's anti-county government but don't, well you have to add employees then to, to manage it would be i mean what's the max hours you think that, about well, that. Anyway, 32 as 40 as well as school but yeah, yeah, and, 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 and more how much of that is each town going to take you know like four hours or something like that yeah. so i i i heard what she was saying because the state has taken over a lot of stuff i think it's part of that but we're being forced to come up with ways to meet the state rules exactly so uh, there's not a lot of options out yeah there. you can't get untrained people to do statutory job duties well inside you can in retirement you can get to it think of the air so they're checking it up now <laughs> it's all computer based it's all computer based yeah. should be raised with you yeah, yeah. 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 just think, think, think yeah. things are screwed up now <laughs> <laughs> well we are we are going to in december we are going to Probably get a letter from the state for some reappraisal, which is not good. We have about half the money that we need. That may be something that all the towns need to push back on and get a little bit flexible there. They're strict, in which I think they've started to be strict. Stolen Morris now were forced to do it. Um, and then they're taking, they're, they're just barely lucky enough to get one appraisal team to do it. If all these towns start to trigger off on their 85% or less on the CLA is the trigger or 80% on a COD, if you go beyond those thresholds, you get the letter from the state. But if you don't have the money, because we, we have been funding reappraisal from annual state grants. That's what it's for. Where was that one ago? 2018. Wow, was it that long ago? 2018. So usually you get 10 years, but with the real estate, you're good about because even came in, but it takes ten years of sitting around. Never, never to pay for the me, like the known or anything like that. Something. I was when I was in Elmore, yeah, when I was in Elmore <coughs> the, the appraiser would leave a note. You know, yes. we'd like to schedule an appointment with you so we can see the interior of your house. Yeah, stuff like that. Never got one of those. From the price, I didn't. Well, they just, they just do it from the outside. <laughs> I didn't do it. Up, I didn't do anything on the outside. I'm doing so, that. Yeah. Yeah, so, I happened to be home the day they came. Yeah. I was working on my house. I feel like it was, like you I'm said, I feel like it was just a couple, so it was recently. Big, big mark on there. Yeah. Okay. So, fundraiser for the Moore Valley uh, Rail Trail Art Installation Better Places 
two to one grant ongoing through September the So the, we had a first went live. We're using Patronicity, which is a website crowdfunding source, mm -hmm. and the state is providing that service, even though five percent of the donations go to pay for the service. The state is requiring us to use that service to help towns figure out crowdfunding. So, which is good because the volunteers, we have three, Susan's one of them, and they couldn't do this by themselves. Right. And we couldn't get anybody else to join the fundraising committee. So again, what are you, what are you supposed to do? You have to pay somebody to help you. Right. So we opened about three, three o'clock yesterday. So it went live, mm -hmm. just like everybody else. And we had the, Ice cream social, get some donations from there. Some people went online. There were a lot of people. Was it? Yeah, I was sticky. From your beer. Oh, your ice cream. my shirt. <laughs> but no. So as of now, we had 11 donations for $720 out of 20,000. That's where we are today. 44 days left. That's not bad for the first day. No, it's I mean, press release was going out. Yeah. <laughs> I think the press release went out this afternoon. It could be a statewide press release from the state of Vermont. Yeah. That. So tomorrow, I'm guessing tomorrow's news or maybe tonight's news, we might start to see some of that. But Susan was going to go on the Rolling the Joy show. Oh, right. And then, there, then it's knocking on doors. So hopefully the three fundraising community people can do that stuff over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So that's that. That was quick. Anything new on no, the no, nothing, the nothing to report. So that's another deferred. I did talk to the town attorney, and he said he was going to try to get in touch with Jim Mahoney to talk to him about what we had talked about the last meeting, and that didn't happen. So I don't know why, but crime rate was supposed to adjust today, but I don't see it did. Tomorrow they said tomorrow. Three quarters of a percent. I'm guessing. Yeah, I did three quarters. Yeah. I'm guessing. And so, do we want to go into executive session to discuss the union? Oh, we probably should, and then we can prepare and ask for what we need for the next meeting. Sure. I mean, to go into executive session. Yes. Well, if you're saying goodbye, but say aye. 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 A